going to be a great morning if my computer continues to run as slow as it has been because I have stuff I have to do today and it's taking like 30 seconds in non-responsive mode to respond and it's driving me crazy and I'm not getting anything done. I absolutely hate when people walk in here behind me whenever I'm trying to vlog. Anyway, today's fasting day, so coffee and water. I woke up this morning feeling like a little bit of heartburn or indigestion or something. So hopefully that kind of goes away throughout the day. But um, if not, hopefully it'll keep me from wanting to eat. I am going to not eat again on a fasting day for the rest of the month um, since I did that this past weekend. Um, and even though it was below my 500 calories, you guys know how much I hate eating on a fasting day. Um, so I'm gonna try not to do that again this month. Um, I was kind of thinking too, the reason why I've lost five pounds so far this month. Um, one thing that I've definitely changed is I haven't had any alcohol. And I know alcohol has a lot of calories and um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe because I haven't been drinking so much of it, which I never really did drink a lot, but I did have those strawberry culotta drinks a lot. Um, I was drinking a beer, you know, whenever I was making dinner and stuff like that. We had quite a few parties last month too or we were drinking on the weekends or, or you know like we had our housewarming party and then they had my birthday party on a fasting day things like that where days that I shouldn't have been eating I don't know if that is to say the reason why I didn't lose any weight last month but the one thing that I have changed so far this month is yes I am eating a little bit lower in the carbs and calories, watching more of what I take in, not necessarily calories, but carbs, um, but I have not been drinking alcohol. So I think drinking in moderation will obviously be a lot better for me than drinking um, every weekend or just cracking open a beer no matter what the calories are. So yeah, that was kind of something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I definitely think that the alcohol wasn't helping. And I'm really grateful that this month I haven't had anything to drink except for like a sip of Hannah's beer last night. So that's kind of what is going on in my mind about my five pound weight loss so far this month. I'm really hoping I can drop three more pounds in two weeks, but we don't want to be dangerous about it, you know? So I say that and people are like, but you fast every other day. I'm gonna go ahead and get up here, fill up my water bottle, drink my coffee, get through the day. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. This day is finally over. Well, almost anyways, like the whole working part of it is anyway. <laughs> After work, I ran to Target and returned a bra that I had bought. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, and I went over to Kohl's and also tried on jeans at Target. I'm looking for a black pair of jeans that I can wear and I do not have any luck. I just can't find anything that I like. Um, so that kind of sucked, but that's really it. I didn't eat. I did have a second cup of coffee today that I iced with, um, Splenda. And that is a giant spider on my garage door. It looks like a freaking tarantula. I'll see if I can get like a picture or video of it for you guys. But yeah, so now I'm home and uh, we'll see what the rest of the evening brings. I want to organize my kitchen. I want to cook lunch for tomorrow. And, um, we're going to go on a walk at some point. Hopefully a little bit later on because it's kind of hot right now. I don't want to do it right now, so... Hopefully later on. Oh, where'd it go? I'm not going to be able to get a picture of that tarantula because it's gone. <laughs> I'm going to get off here. I'll talk to you later. Checking in. It is 9.45 in the evening and um, Ian and I have been up talking for a while so I took a break so I could come inside and out of my vlog for this evening. Um, after I got home, I came inside and kind of started cooking lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> I made a sweet potato turkey skillet. Um, it looks really good. Ian said it tasted really good, so I'm super excited to have that for lunch tomorrow. And I also made my breakfast. I'm doing a lemon meringue, 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 lemon meringue, um, overnight oat. Um, and I added some chia seeds in as well and then afterwards he and I went on a walk around the neighborhood and I've done over 12,000 steps today so I've walked quite a bit um, so I've got a lot of exercise in which is great uh, but yeah now we are in the middle of a pretty deep conversation so I don't want to stay here long but he was gonna brush his teeth and get ready for bed 
so we can continue the conversation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so we can do that and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Is it bedtime yet? <laughs> it's Tuesday. It's a neat day, which is awesome. I brought a lemon meringue. I think that's how it's said. It does not look like how it's spelled. <laughs> um, Greek yogurt that I added oats and chia seeds and milk to, so overnight oat. Oh, it's gonna be really thick, I already know it though. I forgot to add more milk to it this morning, which I'm kind of already regretting, but it was fine last time. It's just, like I said, super thick. Um, but anyway, I brought that, and then for lunch I brought my ground turkey sweet potato skillet that I made yesterday, um, and I'm really excited to try and eat it. I hope it's enough. I don't really know if it's going to be. I thought it might make more, but when she like divvy it out into four servings, I was kind of like, that's not as much as I thought it would be, but I don't need to eat too much, so that's okay. And besides, I brought leftover bell peppers from my um, spring wraps that I made last week that I never finished all the ingredients in, and I've also brought cantaloupe and plums, so I should be good for the day. Um, I have a bag of sun chips too from like the uh, grilling that we did last week that I never ate because it's like 210 calories for the bag and I'm like, I don't wanna eat all that. <laughs> this evening is another lift day, so I'll be lifting again tonight and then probably doing another 10 minute run um, to get my exercise in for the day. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner yet. I kinda wanna do a zucchini noodle recipe. It's like a one pot taco zucchini something. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I'm really wanting to do that, I think, um, to try a recipe with these zucchini noodles. So I think I'm going to do that, um, but I haven't really decided yet. Depends on how tired I am and how done I am whenever we're done running. Um, however, I need to cook the zucchini and I think tonight we'll be going through our exercises or I'll be going through my exercises a lot more quickly because I know more of what I'm doing. So yeah, that's kind of what the day looks like so far. I don't know what today will be like during the day. Um, I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle so I can get to it though, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm really sad because the crack on my windshield just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and um, I don't know what to do about it. I don't wanna buy a new windshield. That's like 250 bucks I don't have. Not fun. I'm home, obviously, and I'm gonna go inside and change and get ready to lift and do a 10 minute run for this evening. Um, for breakfast, I had my overnight oats. It was super thick, <laughs> like normal, but I ate it really slow and kind of savored each bite, and I was really full up until lunchtime. I didn't eat until lunch, which is awesome. Um, the lunch that I made uh, last night, you know, for today or whatever, uh, turned out really good. I kind of wonder what it was like fresh, but regardless it was really good and I ate it slow as well And I tried eating some of the leftover bell peppers that I had but they had like no taste It was really weird. So I just threw them away and um, didn't eat that But I ate about a cup and a half of cantaloupe that I needed to get rid of as well even though I was pretty full um, I figured if I went ahead and did that, then I, I wouldn't want to snack throughout the day. However, halfway between lunch and leaving, I started craving sweets, something terrible. And I don't know why, um, but I wanted chocolate or a candy bar or something. It was awful. <laughs> um, thankfully, I did have, I don't know if you guys remember this, but forever ago, whenever I took a Easter bunny from the break room at work, I had it in my drawer still. So I ate the ears off of it, um, and I'm not exactly sure how many calories it was. A fourth of the Easter Bunny was 190 calories. Um, however, eating just the ears, it wasn't as thick in the chocolate, and um, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think it was 190 calories for the section that I ate, so I just added in 95 calories um, and kind of called it good, but I'm pretty sure it was a little bit more than that, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then I really wanted to go down to our cafeteria and get one of these graham, I think it's like golden graham or whatever it's called, um, cereal bars. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I can make something tonight for dinner or after dinner. I'm wanting to make some uh, brownies that I found online uh, to try them out. They're a low calorie brownie recipe. Like there's stuff that I found recently that I'm really wanting to try. So I was like, do not get anything because you are going to want to eat you're gonna wanna make this stuff later. So, I went outside and I walked another lap and 
I was okay after that. I didn't feel like I needed to eat anymore. And after that, I went on break and I ran to Hy-Vee, but the line was too long, so I basically just left a whole cart of groceries there and I kind of feel bad about it. It wasn't a whole cart, it was only like a couple cans and that was really it. But regardless, I left it. And uh, now I'm home, like I said. And um, I'm gonna go inside and get ready to lift tonight. And then for dinner, I forgot to take out some ground turkey from the freezer. I was gonna make a taco zucchini noodle meal. And um, like I said, I forgot to take the turkey out of the freezer so it's frozen solid and it won't thaw out by tonight. So I asked Ian what he wanted and he said pizza. So I'm gonna make more two ingredient dough pizzas for dinner and I'm actually kind of excited about it because I was thinking about doing that anyway so I'm glad he wants to do that. And then um, I'll either make brownies or keto lava cakes or something for tonight for a sweet something because I'm just really craving something right now and if I keep it healthy then I can't be mad at myself, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so I can go inside and let Bowser out kind of do whatever I need to do before Ian gets home so he can help me with the lifting stuff and I will talk to you guys later. Well I am exhausted and I still have to shower so this is gonna be fun. I apologize if my washer is really loud. I'm pretty sure it probably will come up really loud on camera. I just realized that I was running. I've been blocking it out for the past 20 minutes or so. After I got home I went downstairs with Ian and we did lifting exercises. I can't remember off the top of my head all that we did, but um, it was quite a bit, I guess. I think I'm getting better at deadlifts, so that's good. And then I did a five minute walking, 10 minute running, five minute walking um, exercise as well to get some calories burned from running. Not really sure overall what my workout calorie burn was but I kind of just been adding in my running calories that I'm burning to my calorie counter on the days that I lift too even though I know I probably burn more while lifting just to um get some on there or whatever after we were done with that I came upstairs and made two ingredient pizza dough pizzas I had cheese and then half of it had pepperoni on it and then um after that I was still craving something sweet, kind of like what I was talking about doing earlier, so I went on Pinterest. I found a low-fat chocolate mug cake that was 138 calories, pretty quick and easy to make. It was actually really good, and I added a little bit of cookies and cream ice cream to it, like not even a fourth of a cup, more like two tablespoons. I can't remember how many tablespoons are in a fourth of a cup. Regardless, that's um, what I did for my sweet treat, and I have 88 calories left over for the rest of the day after adding in my um, running, which honestly, like I said, I didn't add anything for the lifts, so I know I probably have even more calories after everything that I did to work out today. So anyways, under my calorie count, I got my sweet treat, and I am full and happy and tired and ready to go shower so I can go to bed. So, with that being said, I'm gonna do that, and I'll talk to you guys later. I did something kind of stupid this morning and did something I should not have done. I went to Starbucks um, after looking at their menu online and was like, well, I'll get a unsweetened almond milk iced coffee there. Basically what I make at home, but I'll get it from Starbucks so I don't have to make it at home, which was stupid. Why wouldn't I just make it at home where it's free? compared to going someplace and paying $4 for it or whatever it was. Anyway, so I went to Starbucks and I ordered, but they didn't have unsweetened almond milk. They only had regular almond milk. And whenever I looked that up on the menu, it was 100 calories and today's a fasting day. And I had already ordered it and couldn't take it back. So I was like, why did I do this? I also had them add sugar-free vanilla before I knew it was unsweetened almond milk and when I tried it I did not like it too sweet not enough coffee I think didn't like it though so on my way to work which is really dangerous I looked up a Dunkin Donuts and went there and got a cold brew coffee which is I think it said 15 calories which I'm not really sure where they counted the 15 calories from unless it's like three cups of coffee five calories a cup or something I don't know regardless I got that and I'm gonna add some Splenda to it and that'll be my coffee for the day and then I'm not buying coffee anywhere again unless I absolutely want to and it's a eat day and I can splurge on the calories but I was not gonna drink a hundred calories today on a fasting day um 
wasn't gonna do it. So now I have this $4 copy that I'm gonna have to try to give to somebody. I'm gonna see if Hunter wants it. If she doesn't want it, I'm gonna have to see if somebody else will want it. So hopefully I'm not wasting four bucks. And the coffee from Dungan was like $3.29. I'm gonna add some Splenda to it because it is just black coffee that's iced. And then, like I said, I'm not ever ordering coffee somewhere again unless I can splurge on the calories. So I just wasted $7 this morning in like a 15 minute time period. I'm not the brightest sometimes. I wanted to do something different, okay? <laughs> like I said, today is a fasting day, so I'll have my $3 Dunkin' Donut coffee and um, a water throughout the day, work, go home, probably bake some things or something. I do need to go get new contacts and go to Hy-Vee after work, so I'll probably do that. But besides that, I don't really have too much stuff planned. Ian's playoff games for softball are tonight, so if he wins the first game, then he'll be playing the second game. If they lose the first game, then he'll be coming home. So we'll kind of see what's going on with that. And maybe we can go for a walk again later because I've really been enjoying those really long walks. It's good to get in that extra exercise on the um, fasting day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over here so I can go get to work and I will talk to you guys later. I need to cut my claws because I just scratched myself really hard and kind of hurt myself. <laughs> I just got home. Um, I went to JCPenney after work because I'm still in the search or was still in the search of black jeans and I found a pair and I kind of liked them and I was like, this is probably the best it's gonna get. So I bought them and then I went over to Charlotte Ruse and found a pair that was cheaper and fit better and I like them more. So I'm gonna have to return the pair that I got from JCPenney tomorrow after work and um, get my money back basically because they were like 27 bucks and the pair I got was nine. So I shouldn't have bought the ones at JCPenney. Anyway, after that I went to Hy-Vee. I had to get some stuff because I'm making a dip for the food day tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. But I'm already throwing out there, I'm gonna eat like absolute crap tomorrow. I'm gonna try to be mindful of what I'm eating and things like that, but I already know that it's gonna be a pretty wild day for me. <laughs> for breakfast, I already know I'm having a donut. Hopefully I'll have some fruit or there'll be some fruit there as well that I can snack on. And then throughout the day, there's a whole bunch of other things that people are bringing that I know I'm going to eat. So yeah, anyway, I am home, like I said, I'm gonna hang out with Bowser, make this dip, kind of play around in the kitchen some. I'm not really hungry, which is awesome. Um, so that's kind of what this evening is gonna be for me. I don't know how the game's going for Ian. Hopefully it's going well, um, but also hopefully it's not because he's done, he's done with softball. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so I can put my groceries away and I will talk to you guys later. Ian and I actually just got back from another super long walk again today, so I definitely went over my steps on my calorie counter, which is great, which means that I burned a lot of calories and essentially means that I am burning more fat because I haven't eaten today, so that's awesome. The only thing that I did do, however, is taste test a dip that I made for tomorrow. So that's the only calories, besides the, like two sips of coffee I had earlier. That was the Starbucks coffee that I ended up not liking. I gave it to Hunter, so yeah, good deed. <laughs> this evening, I wanted to do more baking, but all I did was make that dip, and that was it, which is kind of unfortunate. But Ian came home, and then we decided to go on a walk, and I got home kind of late, so that doesn't help much, but that's okay. I'm gonna get ready for bed now, because I'm pretty tired. It's 9.18, so. It's time for me to hit the hay and I'm really excited about it. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Rachel. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching this whole vlog. I really appreciate it. As you can see, this is all really raw footage. I don't do a lot of editing. I'm usually a mess. My house is usually a mess. I'm not gonna pretend to be somebody I'm not to impress the internet. But yeah, this is me, this is my life. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it and kind of seeing my struggles, ups, downs, all that good stuff on intermittent fasting. And if you've been with me since the beginning, this is crazy to think that I'm so close to a year and uh, you guys have been with me the whole way and this is gonna sound stupid and cliche, but you guys really are like my friends and my family and whenever you comment on my videos or on my Instagram posts, I recognize your names, so um, yeah as cliche as that sounds, I really appreciate it and I know you guys really care, so thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get off here, like I said. So, thanks guys for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it and I will catch you on the next one. <laughs>